Hi friends, <coughs> this is the question from complex numbers which was asked in morning session of January 9th in JE May, January 2019. So that is a very easy question and the subcontent of complex numbers involved in the question is the basic definition of the complex number. The question is we need to find the sum of all possible values of theta in the range of minus pi by 2 to pi for which this is purely imaginary. See they mentioned that 3 plus 2i sin theta by 1 minus 2i sin theta is purely imaginary. So if we convert this as a form of complex number like some real part plus imaginary part. Since it is purely imaginary we need to equalize the real part to 0 and then from there we need to locate the values of theta. Sum of all those values of theta is nothing but our answer. So initially I am going to multiply this 3 plus 2 i sin theta by 1 minus 2 i sin theta both numerator and denominator with 1 plus 2 i sin theta then it becomes like 3 plus 2 i sin theta divided by 1 minus 2 i sin theta when multiplied with 1 plus 2 i sin theta divided by 1 plus 2 i sin theta now if you observe the denominator is of the format like x minus i y into x plus i y x minus i y into x plus i y is nothing but x square plus y square and in the numerator we need to multiply these two complex numbers which is nothing but this is equals to the denominator is like 1 plus 4 sin square theta and in the numerator while multiplying these two 3 into 1 is 3 real part and then 3 into 2 i sin theta is imaginary part 2 i sin theta into 1 is imaginary part 2i sin theta into 2i sin theta 4i square sin square theta since i square is minus 1 minus 4 sin square theta so this 3 minus 4 sin square theta is real part plus I have certain imaginary part here since they mentioned that this is purely imaginary the real part must be equals to 0 if 3 plus 4 3 minus 4 sin square theta is 0 from there we will get sin square theta is equals to 3 by 4 and sin theta is nothing but root 3 by 2 or minus root 3 by 2. We have sin theta as root 3 by 2 or minus root 3 by 2. From there we need to extract the values of theta in the range of minus pi by 2 to pi. See minus pi by 2 to pi. So this is the region for theta. In fourth quadrant sin theta is negative. So sin theta is minus root 3 by 2 negative value. So the theta value is minus pi by 3 and coming to the first and second quadrants sin theta is positive. So for positive value of sin theta we will get two values of theta which are nothing but from the first quadrant as pi by 3 and from the second quadrant theta as 2 pi by 3. So finally there are three values possible for theta 2 pi by 3, pi by 3 and minus pi by 3. Sum of all these three values is nothing but 2 pi by 3. So your answer for this question is 2 pi by 3. So really it is a very easy question which is based on the definition of complex number. Thank you.